Yeah. This is kind of a neat little toy. <laughs> sure, 22 only. They are 15. Very nice. Yeah, it's, it's super cute. It's cool though. <laughs> oh my goodness. Do you have a holster for that, Zach? Or no? Very cool. Cool, cool. Hey, Zach. What'd you bring? This is Sarah. I brought I my Mosin Nagat. Oh, okay. Sarah, Zach, Zach, Sarah. Yeah. Just purchased it yesterday. And this is Katie, the and you know Kurt Solarski. Yes. I'm sure we met at the Halloween party. Okay. For Halloween. Christmas. Ooh, another. Is it, yeah. Yeah. No, you no. just have a pistol. It's a pistol. Pick up that other What'd you bring? Oh. P38? Yep. PC42. Yep. Take a look at box. the box. Yep. It's a uh, second oh, pattern. Oh, you got a polymer lower eye. Yep. Uh, yep. That's uh, right there. That's right there. Uh, fall thing. Uh, uh, yeah, you see 40, 40 feet uh, cold. Right? Mm -hmm. 40 feet cold. Seven, it's six, all matching two, numbers and stuff from the magazine. The uh, magazine is a later model, uh, but it's uh, false and proof. You'll need to take a look at my uh, Okay. My we have, oh. We what do you got there, Dave? Yep. That is sweet, dude. That is sweet. Little AR style carbine and 300 blackout. Kind of a retro upper, but kind of a neat gun. It's not right yet. <laughs> that was our little project during the winter. Yeah, I need to, uh, I bought the barrel just separately, so now I need to bring it to a smith and have it out to put a real front sight on it. Oh, my baby. That's all right. I mean, I'd rather have an Ultra Mag. Hey, Brett. You carry an 8 Ultra Mag, and it does 75% of what that will. Huh? Describe what you got here on film. <clears throat> this is a Bluegrass Armory Viper, designed by Gary Rose. Gary Rose worked for Ronnie Barrett. He designed Ronnie Barrett's bull pups, 50s. He went on his own to start his own company, and this is what he made. It's essentially a improved Barrett because he's the one that designed it for Barrett. That's about it. 50 BMG single shot, 29 inch barrel. Thank you. That's about it. How many you calling? 20, uh, 24. And this one's my baby, MP44, string go there. That one is a uh, Kirin Relic machine gun. Semi-automatic Yugoslavian M92, AK rifle. MP40, sub the submachine gun, that's also full auto. My stepson's firearm, this is a 22 caliber target rifle. Guy in his, where's the, right here, there, a couple the kid pistols. that the guy with the sun is because he wanted to shoot before we go. Down here. Some shotguns, <coughs> a rifle. Nineteen ten, Russian Maxim. <laughs> Machine Gewehr 42. Picture of Kurt taking pictures of oh, pictures. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Kurt, what do you got here? Narrate for me. Because I don't know anything about what anything is. Okay, well, I know some of this. Okay. I own some of this. Okay, here we are. Red Wing Machine Gun Shoot, 2013. It's the sixth annual, I believe, the machine gun shoot that I'm hosting here on Red Wing. Today we have uh, two cars out there. One of them looks like it came in on a trailer because it doesn't look like it drove in this time. And the other one uh, probably doesn't look so hot either. But... So we got two cars, we're going to shoot full of holes and then blow up with, uh, with Tannerite. Uh, just sitting out there, several targets. And um, down in the pit, we have an array of bowling pins for rifling. It's just about a hundred yards.
Cars are going to pull in in a minute, too. Okay. Send it. You're getting closer, Alexander. You're doing good. You're almost there. Send it. Very close. Very close. Don't worry about that. Does this work? That'll do. Keep your eye on that. Just keep aiming right where you have been. Send it. High that time. That's the brass is. It's like a balancing act to do that, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> I'll try one more time. Good. Don't take out the cards feet. yet, okay? No, I'm not. There you go, Tim. There you go. How not to hit anything? You can't do it any longer. <laughs> Override the hammer. Almost hit the dish. <laughs> yeah. Crazy. <coughs> I don't know how you're <laughs> What model 22 is that? A Ruger? Ted 22, yeah. Ruger. Bull barrel, beautiful with stock. Love it. It's a nice looking piece. I love the wood. Oh yeah. Got really it for a steel actually. Traded a regular 1022 for it. Huh. So I love it. <laughs> you gonna shoot that now? It's got backstrack safety on it and everything. Hey, what is that little noisy cricket? Just a little 25, it's a Merlot. Merlot. Copy of a baby browning. Looks like you need a new recoil spring. Yeah, I don't know how to take it apart yet even. <laughs> well, you have to figure it out now, won't you? Yeah. It's a cute little thing though. Yeah. <laughs> you know, me and my pre-World War II pocket pistols. Yep. That's one you'd never shot before. Nope. Huh. New, new piece. Hey, Dad. I'm sorry, but the 1022 is so freaking... Step back. Look empty. That's a jam. Okay, clear the jam by pulling the bolt back. Right? Chamber another round, let it go. It's empty. It's empty? Okay, then put your gun on safe. Okay, put the bolt forward. That's push it all the way forward. Remove the magazine. The button is down there. Keeping it pointed down range. Okay. Now the gun's empty. We can see it's empty. Let's bring it back to the table. Keep it always pointed in the safe direction the whole time. Put it on the table there and uh, we'll reload another bunch. We'll try it again. One at a time. Excellent. You got that first target on only three shots, never having fired a 22 before. That's pretty darn good, Austin. Pretty darn good. Fire, Bill. Uh, don't start the car on fire yet. Oh, I'll be back from this. Oh. Yeah, sound of thunder on that one. <laughs> Big 50. That clears the side. I'd rather be it. There you go. 
So it's not burning? Oh, I love Barrett guns. These are beautiful. All right, guys. Okay. Ready? Yeah. Yes, I got it. There you go. Yes, yes. yes. <laughs> Sweetheart. Whoops. That's, uh, that's kind of a bad thing. What you have to do, you're going to have to put the gun on safe, pull the magazine out, and then clear that weapon. We'll pull the magazine out. Use the button. No, nope. pull the magazine out first. Mm -hmm. Yeah, hit the button, pull it out if you can. You might have to get your finger in there. You go. Now you got to unjam that weapon. So you turn it on its right side. You got it. And then pull. Now you didn't get it all out. See, there's one in the chamber. Now you got it clear. Mm -hmm. Okay, now you can put the magazine back in and try it again. There you go. Ready to go. Let's see if we get one. Here. Well, okay. Excellent. I think you get a feel for that, huh? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I think that's it. I think you're out, right? No? Nope. Check your chamber. Something's in there.
Looks like we got a couple more cars today. Oops. Moving to some new targets. Setting up the bowling pins again. Nice Doug has a loader. I didn't know he had a loader. We used to just drag the cars out with the tractor. Neon! Another spray. Look at that one. Another Chevy. All right, one is hot. Boy, it goes fast. Yes, it does. <laughs> well, I was only ten. Josh, gonna try it now? Yeah, I'll go get him. Okay. Yeah. If he's here, you need to hold it up while you push the trigger. Keep your knuckles in here because this reciprocates and will latch it. Thanks, Dennis.
goal. Yeah, that's about it. That's about it, yep. <laughs> yeah, we gotta splice them all together. <laughs> it's ready to go. Yeah, just checking That's the safety. Handle for. Yeah, yeah, carry yeah, handle. Quick grab it. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I think there was an airplane about. you almost shot down there, Kurt. <laughs> I didn't have any muzzle rise hardly at all. What are you talking about? <laughs> well, we got it on video. We had it right there in the car. <laughs> That's, yeah. Funny. Yeah, That's not so bad. Like that? Then drop it, yeah. Now you're ready to go. Put this up like this. Yeah, yeah just kind of look. Shoot yeah, try using the sights there and see how, how it feels to you. It's not too bad. There you go. See? Again? See, it's good, Woo! Woo! <laughs> Woo! Yeah, open a bolt and see if it's clear, D. You gotta really force it. Look clear? Okay. You know, if you just take the magazine. What you do is you grab it and you push the tab forward. With the tab? Yeah, let the. Oh, you got it. No, you're right, it's not that bad. It's not so bad. It's not that bad. No. Um, the elevation. Fire like one or two rounds to see. How do I do it? Just thumb? Yep, just pressure and push it down. How was I? Uh, looks like you were towards the front. Pretty good. Right. Not bad. company in France. What was this used for? Like uh, ship? Uh, this was actually a shipboard defense. The mount, the original mount that actually I had with it, it's a stand-up meant. To, it's got a real small pedestal base meant to be mounted. Excuse me, on ships. I'll give you some more rounds if I can shoot that again. Yeah, that's fine. Um, I'll give you another twenty. Okay. This is just a ZB. Seven tripod I adapted. Oh, nice. this part is the original part of the mount. I just adapted it fit onto it. So. Wow, yeah, sweet. I'll give you another 20. That'll be great. Okay. I got paid. I think it's done. Okay. Push down. Just push, grab both of them here, push down on the spades, and it'll fire. Oh, just oh my gosh. Okay. Just short bursts, and there you go. There you go, D. Okay. That was it, 10 rounds. Cease fire! <laughs> that was great. Wasn't that cool? Oh, that's fun. That was awesome. It was great doing it. Good. Nice. I'm just only one of these.
What should I go for? The van. Go for the yellow, uh, the orange van. Okay, what part? Uh, center. Easy. Easy. Go for the red car. The rear left tire. On the which car? On the red car. Check my chamber, make sure I'm clear. It's always a good idea with an old gun like this. That was nice. Yeah, you were right on, Kurt. Oh, I've been doing this for a long time. 42 is an old friend. <laughs> There you go. <laughs> it's the goddamn. Uh, it went right down my shirt. You're getting a light hit. I think it's the damn. Uh, <laughs> chamber. Wow. Bath. <laughs> Bath. Bath. <laughs> wow. Sends them up 25 feet. That's amazing. That's, that's okay, go. On, that's a full on. I got it. All you do is you push this button on, you've got a... God love the MG42. What a classic. Push this button, it'll say red recording. Okay. And then push it again to stop it. Uh, actually, that's I missed for you. She's ready. Go ahead and fire. Oh, come on. <laughs> I guess she's not. <laughs> Don't ride that forward. Okay. Nice. Nice. I like that. One more. Get the Just dump that last round out. There you go. Nice. I love it. They're fun. Thank you. Yep. That was just made out of a uh, superior arms. Made in Iowa. I've shot them before, but uh, the most I've ever shot is three round burst. And never oh, okay. gone full. Never did a full auto. I've gone, that's technically full auto, but I've never got full full auto. Right. Yeah. I've only shot the E2. I've got a 22 conversion kit for it. I'm still working on it. Yeah, that's awesome. I love it. Nice barrel on there, too. Blaine <laughs> Dave, he ran a beta mag through it. Oh. Rounds. Nice. That's, uh, nice new barrel. Don't have to blow it. Yeah, Just I want to have to blow it. Well, he's got a, actually, he's got a beautiful tint of blue in there, if you uh -huh. look. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> if I did that. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Look at that. That's just a beautiful color. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Hold on, buddy. Let's get a picture. I want to get one, too. Hold okay, on, we're just a second. Years away from the cam there. Hmm. Okay, give her a little while. Okay, go ahead. Maybe we can lift that up. There you go. There you go. Push hard. Okay, push hard. <laughs> this is the first time I ever Before shot my this child guy. Abuse. Yeah. All right, couple more. Go ahead. <laughs> Holy cow! What are you, what are you saying? No idea. You're welcome. <laughs> that was good. Okay. All right. Okay. Now give me a target. All right. That was really cool. Uh, Tear up the satellite dish. Can you transverse that? Oh, yeah. 
That low? I can depress that low. Okay. Buddy, easy. You're gonna love the flash on this thing. Yeah, isn't that something else? <laughs> okay, here we go. Dish. Okay. There. Safety's off. All around. It's ready to fire. Oh, the caliber? Hold on. Yeah. Okay, so you didn't uh, like What gun did you say that was again? UK 59. Huh. <laughs> Definitely unusual. Check version of the PKM. You have pretty good control of that too. Or their, their rendition of a light machine gun. So that's 22 on a frying pan. Yeah. At about it doesn't quite go through, does it? 60, 70 yards, yeah. Huh. So those little tiny bullets are like just right on there. Wow, huh, cool. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think I'm gonna take off. Thank you so much for having me out. I appreciate it. You're welcome. You take care, Dennis. Have a I safe will. drive home. I will, I'll try. Don't look like this when you get back. Yeah. And there's a grill I filled holes with with the MG42. That was fun. Let's see over here. What do we got over here? Well, this car didn't last. Holy cow, we got some big holes in there with a Hotchkiss 50 caliber rifle, right there, some torn holes with the 50 cal, lots of the holes from everything else, from submachine guns to AR-15s, Something, somebody's trying for a little bit of accuracy, so they put a target there and they're having fun hitting that, of course the, the van caught fire. Sustained ammo discharge into vehicles usually results in fire. After about maybe three to five minutes, any car will start to catch fire, whether it's from the battery or the oil. If you hit the armor piercing rounds through the engine block. Of course, if you want to make a mess, it doesn't hurt to have 10 or 8 charges in the vehicle when you're shooting. That's what usually takes the panels apart for you. But cars do not stop bullets very well. Let's go see the last car up the hill here. We had more cars to shoot than we usually do. We usually have about one or two. A total of four vehicles here. Interesting how grazing rounds tear right through glass sideways. towed this car out here with the uh, loader. It was half disassembled, but pretty much intact. And now, after the Tannerite charge went off, it's hardly even a, close to its former shape. Uh, we're down here in the River Valley in Minnesota. 
just south of Red Wing, about seven miles. It's a beautiful country out here. My friend Doug Mahoney's place. We do the shoot every year. This is our sixth annual. Just a little pit and a lot of fun.